Hey in Rockets, my name is Blakely, and we're going to start off by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's say our school mission statement. The mission of Ian Elementary School is to develop independent figures and patient problem solvers for life. Now for our motto, Eaton Rockets are respectful, responsible, and safe. We want to wish a happy birthday to Grayson B. and Levi M. in kindergarten, and Emma C. and Luke R. in fourth grade. Time for the weather, which has been kind of unpredictable lately. In the south, we have what's called a blackberry winter. That's when there are cold snaps in the late spring, and it's called that because that's when blackberries bloom. And as you can see, that's what's happening right behind me. Mrs. Baszler has placed containers outside to drop off or pick up your grade level packets at your convenience. Are you a fourth grade parent or student? Make sure to talk with your child's teacher this week so we can highlight them in our Walk of Fame video. Do you have a student with a special talent? Well, the show must go on. So, we will be doing our talent show virtually. Mrs. Baszler will be releasing more information about this on Monday, so stay tuned. It's time to go to the kitchen. Now we're in the kitchen. We're going to be making a special treat today. Here's all my ingredients. I have some granola, some Greek yogurt, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, and some bowls. I also have some spoons for when we decide to eat. You can use any kind of granola, but I'm just using some Quakers. And you're also going to want yogurt as your base always, but you can, you can use any kind of yogurt. I'm just using Greek. You can also use any kind of fruit that you like. You're always going to want to start with some yogurt. I'm going to put a few scoops in. I'm going to put the same amount in each bowl. I'm going to be making one on, more on the simple side and then one with everything in it. Next, I'm just going to put a spoonful of granola. It also has some raisins in it. Now, I'm going to add the fruit. For this one, I'm just going to add a couple of strawberries. I also did wash my hands right before this, and you want to make sure that you always do that, just to keep everyone safe. I'm also going to put some strawberries in this one. You can put as much fruit as you'd like in each one. I just put four or five in each. And then I'm just going to put all of the fruit in this one. And then some blackberries. Ready to eat! 